and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to create AI generated images using OpenAI and DALI. So you won't be needing any code for this and you can automatically create images in Airtable using just the DALI Airtable integration and data fetcher. So if you're just checking out this video and you don't know what DALI 2 is, it is a new AI system that creates realistic images and art from a description. That's as simple as it is. So today we're going to be able to do this via Airtable using the data fetcher extension. So in order to begin, we want to create our images and prompt table. So when you arrive, you want to retitle your table one as images. So just double click on that title and then we can go ahead and rename this like so. Perfect, then select save. And then we want to create the first field here as prompt. So again, we've just double clicked that, entered in that name, and we do want this to be single line text from this drop down menu. Select save. So now this is where we're going to add our prompts, really nice and simple. And so for this example, we would like to include the following prompts, person on beach at sunset, mechanic fixing a tire, and someone climbing a ladder. Perfect, so now your prompts should look like so, or alternatively, you could input whatever you would like for DALI to create the images of straight in here, and you'll see how that turns out. Then we need another field, which we will retitle, called image. And for this, we want this to be the attachment. So just from that drop down menu, select attachment and then select save. Great, now we need to create a new grid view. So over to the left hand side, you'll see this grid option where you can select the plus button and we're going to retitle this as needs info. Select create new view. And as you can see, we are now in this new grid view. So it is highlighted here over to the left hand side. Now for this grid view, we do need to add the filter. So here in the top menu bar, we have this filter option and we're going to add some conditions. So we'd like for this to read where prompts is not empty and we'll add a second condition here by selecting that add condition button and image, which is our other field is empty. Then you can click off of this and you can see that that is now highlighted in green. Fantastic. So we are ready to open up our data fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll have this extensions option that you can open and you can select add an extension here. This will pop up to the following screen where you can simply search for the data fetcher extension in the search bar. Once you have enough of data fetcher in there, the following will pop up and you can select add to add the extension and then select the add extension button as well. Fantastic. So we arrive to the following screen where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Now it's time to create our first request. So we're going to import our data here. Select the big blue button again. We'll arrive to the following screen and we would like to retitle this with the name fetch AI images like so. Once you have your title included for this request, we can then go ahead and search for the application. So today we are going to be searching for OpenAI. As you can see, that pops right up. Next, you'll need an API key from OpenAI. If you don't already have an account with OpenAI, you can sign up really easily by heading over to the OpenAI website and creating an account there. When you sign up for OpenAI, you automatically get $18 of free credit, which is plenty to complete this tutorial. And if you would like to continue carrying on, using OpenAI after this has run out, you would just simply need to upgrade. So once you have created that new account, you will arrive to the following screen, which is your home base. In the top right hand corner, you'll have your personal space and you can select that to find your view API keys Button. So this is where we can generate a new API key. We do also have this link on the data fetcher extension where you can simply click here to open that up and you'll find your API key options here as well. So we can select that create new secret key, copy this over, there's a nice little green button to do that, and then come back to paste that into your Airtable base. Once you have that pasted in, we are going to select the endpoint as create an image from a prompt. Select save and 
continue and the following page will load. This is where we input our settings. So for the prompt option here, we do want to select this plus option all the way over on the right hand side. And the information that we'd like to have here is the output table as images and the field as prompts. Really nice and simple. That should load up to the following screen where you see that information that you've already inputted. Select confirm. So now as you can see, that should appear with the images and prompt information here like so. And for the size, we would like to keep this as 1024 by 1024. But of course, this is your choice. You can choose whichever is your preference. Then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select continue. And now we arrive to the response field mapping. This is where you can choose which fields you would like to have imported into your Airtable base. As you can see, there aren't too many options. So all we have to do here is make sure that the image button is turned on, which it is, and that it maps to the existing field image. Perfect. Then you can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, this request is now running and this field is now being updated. Select show output table and we arrive to the following screen. So you want to select back onto that initial grid view and you can see that those images have now been been created using AI with OpenAI and DALI. So if we just open this up, you can see this is now an AI generated image based on the information that we've put in that prompt section. So we'll just have a look at those other images that have been AI generated. It's just so crazy. This is wild. And it's really cool that we are able to just put that information in and using the data fetch extension, all of that information can just appear in your Airtable base. So this is amazing, but currently you would need to manually run the data fetcher request every time you want to create new AI images in Airtable. Instead, you can actually use data fetcher's scheduling feature and you can automatically run the DALI Airtable integration on a trip chosen schedule. So in order to turn on the scheduling tool, we would have to reopen the data fetcher extension. And if you simply click on that extensions button, everything pops up automatically. We've got the fetch AI images here, and it has all of that information that we've already inputted with those settings. If you scroll down, you will see the schedule option. Now you will only see this if you have already paid for an upgraded data fetcher account. If you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do so that you don't have to manually come back in here and rerun the requests. Instead, you can simply schedule them and that will happen automatically for you without you having to do a thing. So once you upgrade to a paid data fetcher account, you can come back and you'll see this now showing like so. Here, we're going to select the add API key and this is asking for your Airtable account API key. So if you click this button, it will directly direct you to your account overview where you can select the button generate API key and here we can copy this key back over to your Airtable account. Paste your key in the box and select save and automatically that turns that request on. So you can decide how frequently you would like for your request to run and on which days then you can simply select save and close that window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to create AI generated images with OpenAI and DALI using the Data Fetcher extension. But if you do have any questions, you can always head over to datafetcher.com where we do also have a full length blog on this exact topic if you prefer to learn that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.